Hey everybody. This time around the question is why do they call it Good Friday? It seems like a weird thing. I mean, if you know what's going to happen with Jesus and you know the whole deal, it doesn't seem like a good day, does it? It's easy to uh, believe that it's kind of a sadistic thing. It's kind of like cheering for the wrong thing, kind of like missing the point. And look, I'm not the first person to say that what goes on in Christianity today, given what we know about what Jesus said and did and, and all of that kind of stuff, it does seem like there's some things that go on in church today that happen to be a little bit sadistic, a little bit like cheering for the wrong thing, a little bit like missing the point. But with all that in mind, I still think it's okay to call it Good Friday. There is a good thing that has to happen here, and whether or not you're uh, on top of the story of Jesus, whether or not that, that does it for you, I want you to know there's something in this story that is your story, too. How many movies have you seen where at the end of Act 2, there's the bad thing that happens, where the, the couple falls out of love and they've got to reconcile in Act 3 for the movie, where the hero loses their powers and they got to get him back right before the dramatic showdown at the end, where the thing happens that seems dark in order for the thing that illuminates everybody, that sets everybody free to happen. I mean, it's a lot of stories, and we love those stories because they speak to a truth that we have in our hearts. It's called Good Friday because this has to happen in order for something even bigger, a bigger demonstration, a bigger idea, Easter, to happen. This is a good thing. Look, so many times in spirituality, in self-help, in whatever you want to call it, it seems like the mechanisms and the technologies that people develop are just to keep them in their comfort zone. This is something I talk about a lot, isn't it? But I want you to get there with me with the idea that in order for something to change and what we yearn for, what we work on, what we journal about and pray about and strive for in whatever way is change. Well, guess what, guys? You can't have it both ways. You can't pray and hope for change, but hope secretly that you get to stay the same. So here's what I'm trying to say. In order for you to get to that new, bigger, better version of you, in order for you to get over it, whatever it happens to be in your life, in order for your miracle or your breakthrough or your revolution, whatever you want to call it, in order for that new life to happen, something has got to die. Now, I'm not talking about violence. You know me better than that. I'm not talking about aggression. You know me better than that. But I am saying that you have to say goodbye to some old version of yourself, some old set of doubts, some old uh, piece of emotional baggage, some old preconceptions that somebody gave you that just aren't true anymore. You don't get to have it both ways. You can't hold on to the old garbage and have room for something new. That's just how it goes. In order to get to your new life, something has got to die. And that's why it's Good Friday. Look, I don't know what you're going through right now, but it might be that you're looking down the barrel of something uh, dark, disturbing, unsettling, uncomfortable. It feels like a loss. But just like you don't walk at the, out of a movie at the end of Act 2, you stick around. I want you to know that maybe this is your good Friday. Maybe the trick to getting there is to call it good, to embrace the learning journey, to let go of stuff that you're not supposed to be holding on to anymore. It's time for you to have some new life, and this is just the beginning for you. So thanks for sending in the question. It's a great one. It's one that comes up all the time. Keep those questions coming. This is a whole new season, whole new room, whole new lot of things. Send in those questions, and you can do that by posting to me on social media. I'm at WayPastOK, and you know that because you're watching this. You can go to my website, WayPastOK.com, and fill out the form to ask a question there. But thanks for sending in the questions. Thanks for liking and subscribing and sharing. You got this.